If you guys want any cheap MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes, make sure you go over to G2A.com and use discount code B87 to get 3% off your total order. Hi guys and welcome to another best possible squad builder by myself Bates in 87 today. We are doing one awesome team. Not only in the game, but actually beat Real Madrid midweek in the Champions League, but were unfortunate to go out. And we actually got a man of the match, Ronaldo, instead of someone who I thought should have got man of the match instead of him, which was Huntala. And unfortunately, we are stuck with only his informed version in this team. Now, guys, if we can try and hit over 4,000 likes, that'll be absolutely sick. Subscribe to the channel if you're not as well. Well, and let me know in the comment section below some best possibles we can do in the future. Um, maybe your favourite team, your favourite league or your favourite nation. I'll get aim to get them done. So in the goalkeeper position, let's start it up in the goalkeeper position with the Bundesliga and FC Schalke. If we can get there, uh, we have upgraded Farman. As you can see there, he is two versions of him. Didn't really like that one. Love this card. Don't know what it is about. He's only 79 rated. Leno's higher rated than him. So is Neuer, obviously. But um, for a cheap goalkeeper in the Bundesliga, I would definitely go for him. Or actually, I'd probably go for Leno. Yeah, I'd probably go for Leno, I think. Uh, but he is a pretty tidy goalkeeper if you manage to pack him. Shame he only sells for about 200 coins because of the price ranges. In the centre-back position, in the middle, we've got the slowest of the three centre-backs, which is how it is. Um, German centre-back, 66 pace, 83 defending and 78 physical. Now, even though he has a massive lack of pace, guys, Guys, he is very strong and nudges the, the players off, which uh, seem to burst through this formation. As 3 5 2 is very open in defence, as you guys know. In the centre back position on the right hand side, we do go with Nastasic, as you can tell there. Um, non rare gold, 74 pace, 80 defending, and 75 physical. And on the left hand side, we do go with Matip, as Santana is lower rated than the other two centre backs. So Matip jumps in there with 74 pace. Now, this is a type of perfect three at the back uh, defence I do like. The slow one in the middle and uh, two fast ones on the outside, both of them 74 uh, pace on either. In the centre defensive midfield position, we have two players. One of them's converted down from a CM, which is Boateng. He is originally rated, uh, obviously, comes out of packs as centre midfield. 77 pace, 80 shooting, 81 dribbling, 78 passing, 84 physical and also 4 star skill moves which makes him absolutely brilliant and I absolutely uh, love playing with him. Mainly, I don't really like playing with him in the CDM position but keeping to the rule of one position change we did do that with him. In the CDM position on the other side we do go with uh, 76 rated, you got a choice of two but we went with Hoga who is uh, pretty good, 76 rated is quite low so you're going to pick him up for around 250 coins or something like that. In the right midfield position, we do go with Farfan, 83 rated. There is some other, there is another card there. I'm not 100% sure who it is, but Farfan is ridiculous. 87 pace, 80 passing, 84 dribbling. Um, doesn't have four-star schools, which is a bit of a downfall, but he is a very solid right midfielder. In the left-hand side, we go with a player who was absolutely butchered this year. And not only, but, well, he wasn't butchered in his stats. He was butchered, actually, in his position change, which was a cam to a left mid. And it is Julian Draxler. Still as good as last year, but obviously don't get him in the right positions because he is playing as a winger and he does cause a lot of danger. Uh, 78 pace, 78 shooting, 78 passing and 84 dribbling. In the camp position, we go with Inform Maya. Now, this card is actually fresh this week, guys. Um, the first team of the weeks to be released as, um, obviously, the price ranges. And I picked him up for 11,000 coins on the first hour of him being released. So, basically... He's going to be that price all the time now because I can't see his price range uh, lifting up. And if you are looking for a cheap Bundesliga camp in form, guys, recommend having a play with him because he is very, very fun to use. In the striker position, on the left-hand side, we go with Inform Huntela. Um... Enjoyable striker, low pace, 79 pace, but 89 shooting and 76 physical. He does also like to pop up. Uh, he's, like, he's a striker who loves to tap in. Uh, obviously, with the pace and stuff, you do struggle with him, but he is a fun striker, and I've always liked Huntla in every previous FIFA. In the striker position on the right-hand side, we do finish with the upgraded inform cheap promoting, which jumped from a 78 to a 70 to an 80. I think that was it, maybe 79 to an 80. Uh, but 82 pace, 86 dribbling, 84 shooting, 75 physical, as well as four-star skill moves. Is one sneaky, sneaky strike, and we'll talk about that a little bit more in the highlights. So, guys, drop a like rating, subscribe if you're not, and I'll be back in a sec to show you the team. So, like I said, guys, Huntela is a very sneaky, well, he's not a sneaky striker, he just loves to finish. Very strong and powerful run, but he is quite slow. Cheaper Morting, on the other hand, is be easily becoming one of my favourite strikers I've used in the game. Cost me 70,000 coins, that's the lowest of his price limit. Um, and in these seven games they played, he scored seven goals of him and one assist as well. Four star skill moves, four star weak. 
weak foot and has the perfect... Like, considering he has changed... Um, he's had a f Did he start off as a left midfielder when all the informs he's got is as a striker? I'm not 100% sure. Draxler, on the other hand, has been ruined. I've talked about it numerous amount of times. Absolutely hate Draxler now. Even though he is pretty tidy on the, the left uh, left midfield position. But he's not fun to use. Inform Meyer, who is also a discard inform. Um, we got f uh, seven games, three assists and one goal. Which isn't bad for someone who is quite small as well. He's only five foot eight. So he's a, a little whippersnapper running around in and around the area. Far fan. Three star skill moves. Three star weak foot. Medium attacking work rate. Which is noticeable. But he is rapid when you're getting on the one twos and trying to burst up the wing. We have the two CDMs of Boateng and also Hoger as well. Both of them were pretty decent. Didn't really notice anything about them. Obviously, Boateng's got a four-star skill, so I was using him a lot more than Hoger. Um... But I don't know why you guys would... I don't know why people don't use uh, Kevin Prince Boateng, sorry. He's, a, he's pretty ridiculous for the price you can get him. Now, the defence. Obviously, the only downfall with the defence was Howard Ez with the pace, but he made up for that in strength and power and knocking people off the ball, which I was not going to be complaining about with that. And also, to finish off, we do have the upgraded Farman, who is the goalkeeper, and uh, it made some ridiculous saves, as always. If you missed my tops kick Bundesliga wager with Finch, guys, you can see some ridiculous saves he does pull off in that game. So go and check that video video out and you will be able to see so guys with that said if you have enjoyed this video please drop a like rate and subscribe if you are not subscribed and we'll be back tomorrow with another video and make sure if you've not checked out um the previous ones for the previous days make sure you have so subscribe comment like and until then see you all later have a very very nice day